Tell me about the company first. Okay, so we're Meritor, which used to be uh, part of Rockwell years ago, and it split off the automotive division. And since then, you know, we're responsible for axles, drive lines, suspensions, brakes, wheel ends uh, for on highway, off highway, specialty and defense products. Um, you know, what typically my group does is everything that the on highway truck group does not do, so garbage trucks, buses, independent suspensions for military vehicles, axles for on and off highway specialty uh, vocational trucks. So here we're standing by an axle. And yep. Independent rear suspension for a military truck, which is unusual, right? They're mostly solid rear axles. Yep. So what's the advantage? Why would somebody want an independent rear suspension on like a big mobility? Okay. Mobility. So you know, if you're taking a truck that's typically used on improved roads or you know on highway, and you're going to try to take it off off highway, the mobility is key. You know, so in other words, controlling the vehicle and being able to get it out of situations that are more dangerous, or if you're having to go over obstacles, this is going to get you over it. And your, you know, the fatigue of the driver is going to be a whole lot better uh, with the suspension absorbing. Uh, now, a lot of the, the off-road guys terrain. swear by uh, uh, solid rear axles because that way one wheel is always on the ground, right? With this, you could potentially get one hung up in the air. No, actually, I mean, this follows the terrain of the ground. Yeah. So as you go, it, you know, that's that's the beauty of an independent suspension. You can have a bump that's on one side and one that's on not on the other. And so both tires will maintain contact with the ground. The other one may drop in a hole, and the other one's level. You're going to always maintain contact with the ground. So kind of walk me through how it works. So we've got a frame that actually allows us to mount it to any kind of vehicle. So this part can be adapted depending on whether it's a hole vehicle or whether it's a typical truck mount vehicle. So in the center, you've got a drive carrier. That is your ratio that reduces the, the, the speed and the, and the torque. It actually improves the torque to the wheel end. You've got a half shaft that translates that torque to the wheel end. And then there's another additional gear reduction. Um, depending on the type suspension, yep. uh, you can have various gear reductions for what you need. So this one's a 3.46 to 1. Uh, we have 2 to 1. Um, the other piece, of course, suspension. Um, you know, for this one, of course, it's a coil spring suspension. We have all types of different suspensions that you could have, hydro strut, air strut, anything you, the customer needs, we can adapt it to that vehicle. Uh, how much, how big of a truck would this go on? What's the weight? This will go on to, uh, you know, this was actually fielded or uh, developed for the Cayman vehicle, so an MRAP size vehicle. So you could go up to 29,000 pound axle rating. Uh, the vehicle originally this one was designed for was 72,000 uh, pound GVW, uh, six by six. So you can get pretty immense uh, amount of weight carried with this. If it's a six by six, can you get two of these on the back? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we've this is actually a front, yeah. and you can see it's got the steer arms out front. We developed a steering linkage that goes with it um, that adapts to the vehicle, and then you best in class 18 inches of wheel travel. Yep. Yeah. That's you, a lot. It's a lot, um, you know. Now what size wheel do you put on this? How big of a wheel does this have? Um, actually, those over there, you know, three, you know, for this vehicle, 395, 16R20 is pretty typical size tires. Um, you know, again, as you get smaller, we'd want to reduce the size of the suspension along with it. Uh, it's pretty massive tires. Uh, one thing we're proud of is the steer angle. We get up to 38 degrees of steering. Uh, that's uh, you know something proprietary that we've worked out with our half shaft supplier. They were able to actually get that of course you've got capability. The, how come? Oh, I see. There's a rotor here as well. So you've got brake rotors on yep. both sides. That one's just cut. Yeah, it's cut just so you can yeah. see it. Yeah. Um, the, the 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 cool part about this, a lot of these components yeah. are already commercially available products. So the uh, the wheel end, the gearing, the brake is our EX225 brake that's used you know, on highway tractors. The carrier, like the gearing and everything, is all commercially available. Um, so it's, you know, again, some of this stuff is tailored for the suspension and the truck itself, but a lot of the building blocks are things that are already part of our portfolio. How is it in a military application? I mean, will this absorb and like an improvised explosive device? 
No, no, we'll not. <laughs> we we, we kind of, yeah. you know, the when we work with OEMs, we let them maintain the expertise on that. Okay. So you, you and just what, the what they always tell us is it's beautiful if it blows up and the hole does its job. Okay. Again, I'm speaking way out of my expertise, but the intent is then that they can replace these modules easily so, and bolt so, them back to it. So you, you start with something like like that in the front, right? Yep, so that's a front drive, the front. and then you'd have a rear tandem, so, you know, if it's a six by six, but then we'd have a replacement for all three of those that would mount to the vehicle. And um, planetary gear in here? Yep, yeah. yep. It's hard to see on this one. Yeah, it's not cut away. Well, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, Thanks. no problem.